Armenia's former president Ser Sarkisian has been elected prime minister with 77 votes for and 17 against during a special session of the National Assembly on Tuesday. The Armenian lawmakers elected a prime minister for the first time in Armenia's history ever since the constitution was amended and the country changed its system of governance. Ser Sarkisian was nominated by the ruling coalition partners Republican Party of Armenia and ARF Dashnak Sution. In his address to the parliament prior to the vote, Sarkisian Sarkisian said security is Armenia's number one priority. He referred to the Karabakh peace process, saying that the negotiation process has simply stopped and added that they plan to persuade at least 100,000 Armenians to come back to Armenia in the coming years. And speaking after the vote, Sarkisian called on the opposition faction to bring their colleague back to the parliament from the streets. Protest actions led by My Step Initiative leader, opposition MP Nikol Pashinyan, continued for the fifth consecutive day. On Tuesday morning, police said they made a decision to put an end to the rally in capital city Yerevan. Police installed two rows of barbed wire and placed stun grenades as well as a water cannon and other equipment. Crowds of protesters marched along the streets in downtown Yerevan. During a short speech at France Square, Nikol Pashinyan announced the start of a velvet revolution and urged the protesters to take over the buildings of state-run institutions. But Pashinyan reiterated the peaceful nature of the protests and called on other cities to follow their lead. Later on, the protesters blocked the entrance to Yerevan municipality, the government and some other agencies, including the foreign ministry. Nikol Pashinyan urged to assemble at Republic Square on Tuesday evening. Armenia police said 80 people were detained on suspicion of committing an administrative offense.